Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is the second one on the playlist where I show you how to create beauty filters for Spark ER. In the previous video, it was blush, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about highlighter. And highlighter is a tricky thing because it's more than just a texture. But our first step is pretty simple. We open Photoshop, we take this face with uh, trackers and we need to create a new layer where we will be drawing the highlighter. And of course I'm gonna take the brush, but if I take a regular soft brush, I'm gonna draw something like this. It doesn't look like a highlighter, actually. So in order to achieve a realistic result, we're gonna change brush settings. Let's open the brush settings. Uh, where is it? Here, okay. So if you don't see this window, go to window and brush settings. First of all, I go to uh, shape dynamic and adjust the size jitter, something like this. Make the size smaller. Okay, spacing. What I'm trying to do is to create particles. Then scattering, uh, scatter. like this to count now we have these particles you make the brush a little bit smaller okay make sure the opacity is 100 percent and what we need to do is to draw this highlighter and here is the basic rule how i draw highlighter first of all i take this ruler in order to define the area where I will be drawing. So like this and like this. So I'm gonna draw here. It is the area where we wear a highlighter in regular life. And in order to make it even more shiny, I'm gonna take just a regular soft brush, a white color, Okay, so of course it's up to you, uh, but this is the technique that I use. You can always press Ctrl T and uh, rotate it a little bit or transform it, make it bigger, make it smaller. And then we need the same highlighter on the other side of the face. So I copy this layer, paste it and move it like this. And these purple lines, they show me that it is on one level. And now, Control plus T and flip horizontal, like this. Okay, so that was the first step. You know what to do next. But that's not all. Highlighter works with light. And in order to be able to add light to a texture, we need normal map. And what, what is the normal map? So normal map is a flat picture used for faking the lightning bumps and dents. In other words, we add details and the texture doesn't look flat anymore. Normal map looks like this. Just like this. You can download it down below. I need to apply this map to our highlighter, to the texture that we have just created. So I'm gonna select these two layers, uh, right click and merge layers. And now I select this layer, press Alt and click here, right between the layers. And now we see that the normal map is applied to the layer. And our last step is to add background. And it's pretty simple. You create new layer, then select a rectangle tool, and draw a rectangle. And for this rectangle, you need to select a definite color. For reds, it's 128. For greens, 128, the same. And blues, 255. Okay, 
So now we have this rectangle. This is our background. So I'm going to go ahead and move this layer down like this. Now you can see that we have the background and we have our glitter here. And the next step is to save this picture. So let's go to export once again. This time you can select it either as JPEG or PNG. It doesn't matter because this file doesn't have transparency anymore. And here we are in the Spark Air Studio. So for makeup, we usually use face mesh and the highlighter is not an exception. Face mesh, material. It's gonna be physically based this time because we're gonna work with light. And if you select flat, it doesn't allow you to work with a normal map. Here we select the texture of the highlighter. Then we go to normal map, check this box and select the normal map. The blend mode should be screen. All right, now we have this uh, white things. <laughs> it doesn't look good. That's because we need to work with surface parameters. It allows us to change uh, the parameters. We can make it more metallic or less metallic. We also may add roughness like this. I'm going to go back to these parameters later. And let's go ahead and work with light. In order to make it look like real highlighter, we need light. So add object, light. We have a plenty of uh, light sources here, but I am uh, usually use the directional light. Once you have the directional light, you can move it like this. You can click here and you can rotate the light. And you can see on her cheek that uh, when we are rotating the light, uh, the texture shines. And your goal is to find the position for the light when the highlighter is under the light. So you can move it, you can rotate it, and of course it is, um, it is easier if you have your own live video here. But unfortunately I don't have it, so it's gonna take time. Let's do it for the right cheek first. The light is pointing right on her cheekbone. And we need the second light source. And I'm going to show you how to do it easily. Select the light, then duplicate it. Now we have two light sources. And you go to this transformations position and you type minus here. You can see it. It changed its position. Then you go to rotation and add minus here and delete this minus like this. Okay, and now they are symmetrical. Almost done. Our last step is to go back to the material, play with these parameters, uh, with, with these parameters and with the opacity and achieve the result that you like. It's very creative process, so you can uh, adjust all these parameters just the way you like it. Okay, very good. It looks quite natural, although the model doesn't have any makeup on. So if we add retouch, uh, eyelashes, lipstick, uh, etc., etc., it's gonna look even better. If you'd like to use the texture which I created for this lesson, you can find the link down below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.